Saturation flow rate is an important value in traffic engineering when we're analyzing the capacity of a signalized intersection. Here's an example data collection sheet with values for 40 observations. So each row is a different value, one through 40. And what each of these numbers represents is the time in seconds between the fourth vehicle and either the seventh, eighth, ninth, or 10th vehicle during that observation. We only have one value per row. And one of the things we need to do is we need to sum up each of the columns. So if you look in the bottom right of the sheet, you'll see the total for the seventh vehicle column is 91.7 seconds. For the eighth vehicle is 162.1 seconds. And for the ninth vehicle, 121.1 seconds. And finally, for the 10th vehicle, 111.8 seconds. Our equation for the saturation flow rate is 3,600 times the number of observations. 3,600 is the number of seconds per hour, because we want to turn these observations that were in seconds into an hourly value, and then multiply by the number of observations we had, in this case, 40. And then we're going to divide each column in the, in the denominator by the number of vehicles that were observed between the fourth and either the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. So for instance, column B was associated with the eighth vehicle, so the time difference in seconds between the fourth and the eighth, and there's four vehicles that were observed. So that's why we're dividing those seconds by four. So plugging in our numbers, 3,600 times 40 observations over 91.7 divided by three, plus 162.1 divided by four, plus 121.1 divided by 5, plus 111.8 divided by 6, gives us 144,000 divided by 113.95. And that gives us a saturation flow rate from these observations for this lane of an approach of 1,264 vehicles per hour.